So I've been preaching on Revelation 7 a lot. There is this hope inside me. I'm so excited to see every nation and every tongue together before the throne room of God. See, in, in Revelation 7, it says John's taken to the throne room of God and he looks and he sees every tribe and every nation and every tongue. And they're all wearing these white robes of palm branches and they're screaming out to the Lord, salvation belongs to you, God. It belongs to you, God, and the Lamb. And I love that picture, man. I love everything about it. But there's two things I want to point out. Number one, I think this first thing I want to point out to you is, is really something beautiful. And it kind of goes with everything that's going on today. You see, John recognized when he is shown the throne room of God, the thing that he points out, or two things he points out. He says, there are so many people I couldn't count it. But then the next thing that John notices, the next thing that John recognizes is he recognizes all the different cultures, all the different backgrounds, all the different tongues and all the different tribes and all the different ways and the people and the ethnicities. John was a man who wasn't colorblind, but rather he loved the cultures that he saw. He recognized that, wait a minute, this, this isn't from my town, this isn't from my town. He recognized that the word of God was for every culture. It was for every tongue. It was for every way of life John saw it because that's what God's after. We see that in Acts 2, but here's the deal. I've already preached on that, and I don't want to preach on that again. I want to preach on something a little bit different today. I want to preach on what they are talking about in Revelation 7. You see, in Revelation 7, the nations, the people, the tribes, the countless amount of people before the throne of God, looking upon the throne, looking upon the king, they all said something. Something I hope that I'm saying today is that salvation belongs to you, God. It belongs to you and the Lamb. I, I, I really liked that scripture a lot. It really resonated with me. And I was really looking at it going, man, I noticed something in that scripture. They're not saying salvation is anywhere else. You know, sometimes you, you feel like in life, you go, man, I just need, I need something to save me for a moment. I need some help for a second. I need to find rest. I need to find peace. I need salvation. No, no, no. Maybe it's not rest and peace. Maybe you just need actual help with something. Maybe you're going, man, I don't want to know what to do. I need an answer. You see, the difference of the people who are in heaven at the throne room and the people who aren't at the throne room, I think it has to do with what they're saying. It has to do with what they're recognizing. You see, they all look to God and say, salvation is yours. In other words, the only rescuer, the only hope, the only answer, the only one who will save man from his disgusting sin, the only one who will save this earth from the disgusting sin and the, the things that are actually terrible. And not just the things that you think are terrible, but the things that you've justified even. Like he who's gonna save us from our wickedness who are you looking to save you? You see, in Revelation 7, they all know, all those people who, by the way, are alive today and alive yesterday and will be alive tomorrow on earth, those citizens in heaven all had something that they recognized. The only hope for any salvation is him and him alone. Where are you looking for salvation? I think the word salvation in Christianity has been, been, you know, downplayed. I think it's been used so much that we think it's some prayer. But everyone who's in heaven, those people, they all recognize. You know, salvation means the only one who could rescue us. Who, where are you looking for salvation? Where are you looking for help? What, where do you find your peace and your shelter? When the world comes against you, where do you run? I want to know, where do you run for help? Maybe you, you run to your friends. Maybe you run to isolation. Maybe you run to money. Maybe you run to a drink. Maybe you run to, I don't know. I have no idea. But what salvation are you looking for? And I want to give you an invitation today. Do you want to be the one in heaven with the nations? Because if you do, then you need to grab a hold of this one thing. The only salvation, the only one who will give you salvation is him. And him alone. He's the only one who will solve the problems. He's the only one who will save us. He's the only one who will save you. But we have to grab a hold of that truth. There is no other salvation. Money can't do it. Government can't do it. 
More time off can't do it. More time at work can't do it. A drink can't do it. Drugs can't do it. Getting away from the people you don't like can't do it. Muting those who oppose you can't do it. The only salvation is you, God. And when we start seeing this out from our own hearts, we will be the ones in heaven. There's only one salvation. There's only one rescuer. And it belongs to God. Let's go after him today. Can you make God your only salvation? Can you push away every other option and say, God, today, today I make you my salvation. Today, you're my salvation. You're my hero. Can we just sing the same things to the citizens of heaven? Salvation is yours, God, and yours alone. So if I pray over my friends, pray over me, that God, wherever else we've been looking for help, wherever else we've been looking for answers, God, may you redirect us and say, hey, hey, join me at the throne room and look at me for a moment because you, God, you alone hold the salvation. And God, may we not look anywhere else. May we not look for anything else, but God, may we look to you because you are God, the all-powerful one. So Father, we love you and we praise you. And as we pray, amen. Hey, this is short, six minutes uh, or seven minutes. And I hope, I hope you are encouraged today to look upon him for he's the only one who can give us salvation. I love you guys. I'll catch you later.